Hello everybody, welcome to Rapid Application Note number 1702. Uh, today's application note, we're going to show you how to use the scheduler for some quick simulation. What I'm going to do is put a bar graph on the screen. Now this could be a cutaway view using a polygon, it could be uh, any number of objects, but I'm going to use a rectangle, apply a bar graph animation to that, and then I'm going to create a brand new tag called Level. And when I create that tag, uh, in this case I'm going to make this as an integer. And uh, we're going to set this at a minimum value of 0, maximum value of 10. You'll see why in a minute. And here, let's go with a color of red to just make that very, very visible. Now, I could use the database spy and change the values one at a time, but it might be a little bit better or easier to see maybe the full range, uh, 0 to 10 or whatever that range may be. So I'm going to use the scheduler, and I'm going to insert. So that's here under the Tasks tab. Uh, I'm going to insert this. Now there's three different uh, events for a scheduler. The first one is calendar, which uses the time field as the time of day. So let's say it had uh, uh, 20 in there, 20 hours, that would be 8 p.m. Uh, under the clock, it uses the time field as a period or a frequency. And the format is hours, colon, minutes, colon, seconds, dot, and then the number of uh, tenths of a second or every hundred milliseconds. The third triggering ev um, event is change, which doesn't use the time field at all. Uh, feel free to take a look at the training videos to understand better better how to use a scheduler worksheet. You can find that in the uh, built-in scripting language uh, section. So here we're going to set this as clock because uh, what that does is it uses this as a, um, a period or a frequency. And the format is hours colon minutes colon seconds oops seconds uh, dot and then the number of tenths of seconds or in this case it's uh, 0.1 for 100 milliseconds uh, now what I'm going to do is in the expression field I'm going to build up an expression if and then open parentheses level is less than 10 uh, then comma so it's then uh, level take the value for level uh, add one to it, and then that'll be the result that'll eventually go into the tag in the, in the next column to the left. Um, so here I've got uh, level plus one, comma, and then uh, else I'm going to set it back to zero. So it'll go from zero to ten and then start over. So whatever the result is of this, it's going to increment, count up to ten. Uh, when it gets to ten, it'll set it back to zero. Whatever the result of that is, it'll, it'll go into this tag which is the same tag, and that'll give me a little count up, a little timer that'll count up to 10 um, and increment every 0.1 second. And if you have your application running and you've created a new scheduler sheet, you should stop your project and then run it again. Uh, in this case, I've already had it stopped. And so what you should see is my little bar graph going up in increments of, of one and uh, uh, there's lots of different ways you could do this. You could uh, have that going up in increments of 2 uh, or uh, 5 if you want to go up to 100. And then you could do all, all sorts of other things on here. So just a quick way to show you how you can use the scheduler for a simulator. Thanks and have a great day.